Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Pressing against volleyballers, how can you do it? Is it effective and how can you make it effective? So that's what I'll be covering here today. I will be talking about how to make smart decisions when defending against, vo against volleyball. But obviously, you know, it's uh, up to luck sometimes. But uh, the best thing you can do is to press smartly so that you have a better chance at beating volleyballers and that is exactly what I will be telling you all about in this video I'm going to show you some gameplay with two formations, a 4-4-2 and a 4-3-3 the ones that have been giving me some pretty good results in the Infinity Arena but uh, yeah, 4-4-2 now, let's not pay attention to uh, the midfield but let's put our attention to the defense now the defense is, uh, isn't the usual, you know, two hammers on the flanks and fast players in the middle kind of thing. Because, to be honest, I'm a bit bored of that and I want to try something different. Also, hammers at the back are very slow to catch up with uh, fast uh, wingers and that's a very big problem. It's a problem that I have kind of fixed with a prowler here because he's very, very responsive so that he can both hunt down fast players but he'll also be quick to... Uh, press and intercept crosses from even coming in so and that's the same with Jones who isn't as fast 30 speed but he's uh, got good skill and shot power to fling balls to Patrizio Johnson Abubakar etc etc making plays so uh, yeah on to the gameplay we go people 4-4-2 against a volleyballer now as you can see 3-5-2 51% you think yeah this is a very bad volleyballer but it's very, very important to uh, not underestimate them. Volleyballers are only a level 10 hammer away from uh, scoring with a header and basically beating you. And you'll feel really bad once you uh, lose a match you think was going to be won easily. So uh, there, now let's focus on the game people. That's some uh, a mental kind of trick to uh, for you guys. Because it's always important to never underestimate your opponents, especially volleyballers with uh, a low number of uh, gold medals. Now, uh, he makes a mistake, I make a mistake. It's a bit of a strange uh, start to the game. But, uh, yeah, I use my uh, hammer to play the ball back. Now, uh, I'm going to start progressing up the field with my uh, captain. There is uh, not much going on. Okay, yes, I make a very, very nice pass, but for some reason, Zivkovic decides to like uh, control it with his feet. But as you guys can see, they're pressing with your uh, strikers. That is the first lesson of the video, guys. Pressing with your strikers will allow you to keep your formation intact. It will allow you to keep the shape well and... Uh, when dealing with volleyball, but not only, mind you, it's always very important to keep your formation's shape as much as you can and not drag players away from their positions. Now, since this guy has crossed the, the halfway line, I'm pressing with my midfielders, but when I can, I will press with my uh, strikers. But for now, that's not happening. He's uh, obviously one touch players, uh, he's got one touch players everywhere. He's, uh, he tries a ball so that he can uh, try a, a cross afterwards, but he doesn't manage. I am a bit lucky there. Obviously, you need luck when it comes to uh, playing volleyballers. And uh, yeah, the, the shot isn't good. Obviously, I should have uh, taken a better, a stronger shot, more powerful. And I'm lucky again to uh, win a corner from that silly situation there. And obviously... Now comes Abu Bakar with a header. I love scoring headers against volleyballers, man. It's the best taste of their own medicine. Like, I love it. But, uh, yeah, that's a small little uh, kind of uh, liking that I have when playing volleyballers. Now, let's go on with more tactics. 3-5-2. Um, obviously, 61% and with more gold medals than the other guy. So, he's uh, going to be a better... Uh, guy for volleyball and I'm sure he'll be uh, trying exactly that so it's important to keep my shape 
and press with the right people I don't play to the thunder at the back as you can see there so that uh, he won't know that I have a tough guy and I because obviously if he doesn't know that I have uh, tough guys at the back he'll be more inclined to try a header now obvious pass there to Sandberg very easy he's got a hammer I think marking him or something very slow player he's chock full of volleyball I mean uh, friend captains and hammers and guards so it's uh, it's easy to catch him on the uh, on the wrong foot now we're pressing again with our uh, midfield we're only pressing with our defensive line when we have no choice and now I try to send Keane to get the ball but obviously his guard is well stationed but he makes a mistake because he tries to give it to his other hammer and not the uh, I think he knew there that I, I had a hammer at the back marking his his uh, I have junior at the back marking his hammer and uh, he decided to go for his central attacking midfielder who was a guard or hammer I think but Johnson somehow managed to save me there so uh, that's that's what I'm talking about people trying to uh, doing what you can when you can because uh, sometimes it's just a matter of uh, being a bit lucky and having players in the best position to uh, limit this volleyballing garbage, you know. So, now, Novak winning the ball, as always guys, pressing with the player that you, ha you think has the best probability of winning you the ball. And that is exactly why Novak was uh, pressing there. And we win the ball back, basically. That's the situation now. Um, uh, uh, there is uh, Esteved, I mean Jones rather, can't get his name right for the life of me. And uh, yeah, he's safe to pass the ball to, he's really good, unlike Johnson here, bad mistake, like running away with the ball. But now, very important thing here, I press with my center backs because obviously there's no one else to press with. Plus I know that he's got uh, very slow players, so uh, my center backs did a good job here of uh, keeping this guy from you know, progressing to my keeper. In that situation that was what was required obviously. Now Zivkovic doesn't manage to win the ball, he's got hammers and guards everywhere this guy. But one of his hammers betrays him there, bad mistake. There is Sandberg, I give him the ball exactly right so that no other defender will get to him. Big, powerful shot to the keeper's right. Okay guys, now 4-3-3 time and this is the formation. Basically, nothing different, honestly in defense. Jones, my captain and uh, Junior and Keane as center backs. That's basically the same. In the midfield, of course, there are changes. Um, there is Patrizio, but uh, most importantly, one of my most favorite players, Sokolov, um, uh, is there to basically help out with play. And as you will see in the next um, piece of gameplay, he helps set up Abu Bakar and Sandberg. But again, how does a 4-3-3 change when it comes to pressing? Like, is there anything different to other formations when it comes to the, uh, pressing with a 4-3-3 against volleyball? And yes, there are some things you have to keep in mind with less players in the midfield you'll have a harder time making uh, effective presses and keeping uh, you know the corners from coming in but with Patricio for the speed and response he's pretty quick but obviously he won't be as effective as uh, you know someone in a 442 for example because a 442 is easier to defend volleyball with I'm not sure if that is a secret or not but yeah that's it but as, uh, as always, I love playing with different formations and the 4-3-3 is a very particular formation to play and it beats volleyballers as you'll see now guys. Okay, first match in this video with a 4-3-3 against a very experienced volleyballers. You can see 2 to 5 gold medals, almost 71% win rate, crazy stats. Obviously, all volleyball, so uh, I mean, uh, to each zone when it comes to assessing that uh, win rate. 
To be honest, it's not that impressive for me, given that he's been volleyballing since he's been born, basically, this guy. But now I set up a Bubakar to uh, make something happen. He stops in his tracks, many defenders pressing him. Sokolov is somehow there. He's not in the center of the uh, box. I want Zukic to shoot, but he doesn't. And now Sandberg is going to try a very strange shot. I couldn't play to Zukic again because the major was... Uh, Pressing him and look at this guys, lovely curved shot but uh, this volleyballer was a bit unlucky that a defender, his own defender scored for me. Now again, pressing with my striker unless I know that a cross will be given and there is uh, a cross that was going to happen. Now I press with my uh, captain so that junior as you can see goes back, he does but he still loses out. And that's exactly when it, what I mean when it comes to uh, doing your best, honestly, because that's you can all, that's all you can do, guys. If uh, there's nothing you can do about certain situations like that, when uh, a hammer beats, or rather Matsumoto still beats your uh, tough player, nothing. Honestly, there's really, really nothing to uh, worry about when that happens because it's completely out of your control. As was this situation here, he was extremely lucky to get the ball back from Abu Bakr's strange flick. But now I press with my center back because I know that the ball is gonna be played there. And uh, I'm lucky that, rather, I'm not really lucky, it's not a matter of luck, it's just that Abu Bakr stopped running. So now uh, Jones, as I've said, a playmaker in that situation with uh, a pass to the hammer now I play it to Zukic who is smart and now this is a situation that needs a bit of uh, patience here there is Sokolov who plays in Sandberg look at this guys Sandberg is, is excellent when it comes to passing the ball to his uh, teammates on the wings as I've said earlier on now Sokolov one on one with the keeper top corner this volleyballer loses. There you go, Mr. Volleyballer. See you later. 43, showing you the formation again. And we're on to the next one. And yes, this uh, guy was, wasn't was playing a 3 5 2, he was playing a 5 3 2 with a hammer and a speedster up top, if I recall. And uh, obviously, this is still volleyball, half volleyball. So uh, I thought I'd include this in the video because. Uh, really should be careful when it comes to uh, playing players, playing people who uh, have hammers in attack because it's always going to be a very delicate process when it comes to defending. Now Sandberg plays a lovely ball, Abubakar stops in his tracks again, very, uh, very annoying he did that twice in this video, funny enough he rarely does that. And now Zukic. To uh, create something, everyone's offside. I played to Junior, not much to do honestly, and uh, Junior makes a complete mess of it. And now, now obviously I'm a bit compromised here. I start pressing with Keen, but I stop immediately because I know that this guy is a hammer. He's not gonna be running too quickly up the field, and if I continue pressing with uh, Keen. I would have left this guy completely alone for a tap-in. He makes a mistake there and I get the ball back. As always guys, it's uh, even when you see a low win rate, a player with a low win rate, it doesn't matter. The game will still be extremely complicated, especially if you're in the Infinity Arena. Now that was almost a penalty there. I really, This guy was really lucky to not concede the penalty, but I score anyway with a header from a corner. Very uh, simple stuff when it comes to corners. I like trying uh, to keep things on the simpler side because I know that against volleyballers like this guy, it's important to not complicate things too much. So now pressing with my uh, with my winger, that's a Bubakar pressing. I won't press with my midfield unless I know that a ball is going to be played there, and I do just that with Patricio, who wins me the ball. Now, Sokolov, look at this, guys. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous pass to Abubakar, who's uh, 
one on one with the keeper, very tight angle, almost impossible. And uh, I try to get a corner kick, but I'm lucky. And this guy loses. So that's all, people. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.